This is Dan of Vagabond Awake. This is Chang Wei from Hobo Venture. And today we want to talk about two of our favorite cities in Vietnam, which is Da Nang and Nha Trang. Yeah. So we in 2019 we were here for、uh, we toured all over Vietnam, and then we're coming back now in 2024 and to two of our favorites, and we're trying to decide which is our favorite. <laughs> So we decide. So we stay here for months. We do it down on one month, not on one month to find out which one is our favorite. And we fight a lot with these two places. Yeah. Which one is the best? Can you turn my eyes black? Yeah. Ooh, she gave me a good one. <laughs> <laughs> so before we tell you about which one is our favorite place or his favorite place, you know, kind of not sure sure yet. You could visit, <laughs> and then we will tell you the differences between this kind,、uh, these two places. Yeah, so we want to talk about things that feel a little different to us in the two spots, and those might weigh one way or another for you. You might pick different than us based on these things. And the topics we want to cover is like who's here, who are the visitors, food, Some- shopping, aspect focus, restaurant, well, feeling. So let's get started. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So who comes here? Visitors. I would say that uh, in uh, Dana is、uh, mostly a long stay、uh, aspect, or they have a lot of young digital nomad over there、yeah. from Europe. They are mostly Europe persons, you know. When we wander around Dana, we see a lot of the expats in an area called Miami Beach, and we see Europeans there. We see Americans. We see Canadians. We see Russians. We see all the you know the worlds there, but not as much. Of the world is there as we see in Natrang, right? And like she said, they're younger. They're younger in Danang. The average age is probably younger. I would say they are younger digital nomad over there. It's mostly, and in Natrang, it's mostly it's tourists here. We see a lot of tourists here. And in both countries, we do see older people. We do see retired people, older expats. But in that way, I would say、uh, maybe it's a little different、uh, than other countries in Southeast Asia,、yeah. where they're not per capita not as many as there as or, as there are in other parts. So, but they both have retiree expats in Da Nang and Nha Trang. Yes. So, yeah. And also, Chung mentioned how long people stay. More, more tourists, we notice. Higher percentage of the people visiting in Nha Trang are like tourists. They're here for a few days or a few weeks, often on cruise ships or、yes. tours or this kind of thing.、Uh, and but in Da Nang, we run into people that are oh, I've been here three months. I've been here two months. We're we've been a month here. Before that, we were in Thailand. Or they're more digital nomads and long、uh, slow travelers or long stay、True. tourists. So that's a big difference. There's a very big difference. Yeah.、Uh, next thing we notice is, is in Da Nang, we notice that. That Miami Beach area is where a lot of the expats live, and they're kind of the or the expats are grouped sort of closer to the beach. I'd say the first, maybe、uh, at least five blocks, maybe all the way back to eight or ten blocks,、mm-hmm. and then when you cross over the first relatively large se-、uh, street, pretty soon it starts to become more local people, and more local restaurants and better prices and better rents, but still extremely charming. They're both very charming areas. But they're kind of grouped. We've noticed not that they don't mix, but they're more grouped than they are in Nha Trang.、Mm-hmm. Nha Trang, it's mainly just、uh, the first five blocks are tourists, and then behind that are more of the long stay people, whether they're Chinese or Russian or American or European. Starting around the fifth block back is where all the long stay people are. So it's kind of a little bit of a difference. Mm-hmm. Why、uh, we say that、uh, Natron is more tourist places because Natron is uh, most uh, like a four five star hotel is right on the city center. So right when, on the beach, right on the beach. Yeah, which is Dana. Those five、uh, four five star international hotel is away from the city. It's yeah, between, more. Tr- yeah, it's between Dana and Hoi An on the beach side. Yeah. Yeah. So when you drive south to、uh, to Hoi An, which is only like thirty minutes from、yes. this, the Miami Beach suburb we're talking about, you'll see all the five stars. Now there are some five stars up in Da Nang in the city, but that area doesn't seem as I don't know frequented、yeah. uh, as the Miami Beach does in terms of international tourism goes. The next one is about food. What I see the food is、uh, in Da Nang is way more cheaper and more food choice of the local food. 
And also, they also have international food, 5,000 to 20,000 dong difference on the food. Yeah. So it's uh, a little more expensive in Natrang because you have, a, you have an international community with more spending capital. They're coming out on cruise ships and they're touring and they're only here for a short period of time. And they've got their, they've got their money they've got to spend in that seven days or however long it is. Uh, where Da Nang, you have a longer city people there, so they're living more on a budget. Yeah. And for that reason, there's not as much international money chasing the, the food. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the prices are more reasonable because they're competing more for that money. In fact, our very favorite restaurant in Da Nang was only a dollar per meal. It's on our it's on our retired cheap report for Dong. You'll see it, but it's so delicious for a buck. Crazy. Yeah, there's a local Vietnamese food that we eat, and in fact, in Dana we are eat out every day for lunch and dinner. Yeah, yeah. And then here it's not much more. You know, it's like a dollar forty, two dollars a meal, yeah. something like that. But it's just a little bit more. It's a little bit more, and uh, a choices it will not that much choices compared with Dana, you know. So in the da, in Natron, we are cooking more often yeah. than the Dana. Yeah. Um, so Natron with that international palette, you have all kinds of international restaurants here that are really expensive, you know, six, eight, ten, fifteen dollars yeah. for a plate. Da Nang doesn't have that as much of that. There's a few restaurants like that, but not too much. Uh, you can get away even in the in the tourist restaurants. You can get away with a five or six dollar or eight dollar meal, and so that's a big difference. So I would say overall, because of the better priced Vietnamese food that's delicious and healthy in Da Nang, and because there isn't as much international food in Da Nang compared to Nha Trang, I would call it it's more local in Da Nang and more international in Nha Trang. Dana, um, it is uh, it is not that easy for me to find my uh, face cream kind of uh, product, you know, and uh, it's more easy for me to get so like uh, international uh, brands uh, face cream in the natural. Yeah, the malls have high end. Yeah, high end. Uh, beauty product that you know those international beauty yeah, products. That's yeah, that's right. Yeah, Beauty product, they don't sell over there, but you can order from the Shopee or Lazada. Yeah. I mean the international beauty product. So if malls are your thing with all of those luxury brands, Natron's your choice. Yes. Uh, next up, there's more money in Natron as far as we can tell. I mean, with all the international money. So you see, you know, more fancy cars and and people in nightclubs, you know, uh, you know, and, and you know, all dressed to the nines, and uh, it's 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 a wealthier per capita city, I would suspect. I would say the nightlife here is will be more uh, interesting. Um, the nightlife in Natron it will be more interesting than Dana, because here they have uh, more tourists. You know, that's why the nightclub is more nice because women do the one of the bar you know they have a dancer dancing on the you know the top the bar top on the bar yeah, yeah. so it, it's interesting to to watch you know but in danang the nightlife is mostly is you go to the bar drinking live bands you know they also have nightclub okay yeah. but the nightclub is away from the um, is in the downtown area it's yeah. not on the aspect area yeah, like rooftop nightclubs kind of stuff is in the downtown area of Da Nang. And not many of the expats are there. It's more of a local scene, which is fun. No, Nothing wrong with that. Um, we have a nice uh, nightlife in the Da Nang that they have a nice uh, live band, you know? Yeah, The music is very beautiful. Yeah. So you have more like international or more like live music, you know, rock bands and that kind of thing are in Da Nang for that expat group. Mm -hmm. And um, in, in uh, Nha Trang is... Uh, uh, it's an international sort of thing on these uh, some of the top floors of these hotels. There's big nightclubs here and stuff that are serving the the uh, tourists. International tourists. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So. So what is the feeling for us that when we in Da Nang and Nha Trang? So what is the feeling? In the I, I would say Da Nang is going to be good for someone who wants like a really laid back life. Easy in terms of getting an apartment and the cost of living and kind of a slower, peaceful, relaxed pace. That's what Da Nang's going to give you. Now, you have crazy if you want it up in the city, 
you know, in the local clubs. And then once in a while, they'll have a, a live band uh, in the Miami Beach kind of thing. And there's stuff going on there. You can have a good time there. But it doesn't have that kind of crazy energy that you get on vacations in a place like Natrum. Yeah. So I would say Da Nang's for laid back, easy, peaceful. I, yeah. What I feel that in the uh, Natrum is uh, it's very touristy. Yeah. quite touristy for me because of the international cruise ship you know those uh, koreans and uh, china you know bus 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 of tourists <laughs> who come in you know so yeah. it's very busy and hectic yeah it's you hectic know? yeah and um just too much noise around that i feel but uh, what i feel in dana is more peaceful and laid back kind of the feeling yeah. it's not it's not like uh, oh, we have to go to this place because you know and uh, later they will have a lot of people no they are quite peaceful go whatever you feeling you like yeah. you know? yeah. that said uh in not trying what you're going to find uh and it's on my report i'll show you the neighborhood there's a neighborhood that's just really charming just gorgeous aesthetically pleasing buildings and cafes uh like you would you know just beautiful walkable streets like 95% locals. And so it has a very peaceful laid back area. You just need to know where to go, which of yeah. course all the locals know. Yeah. In fact, it's like I said, the wealth is even in the locals area and you'll see it in the architecture and it's super beautiful and easy going. It's just not on the beach like you'll, like you'll see uh, in Da Nang. So what do you see about, uh, what do you feel? what will be your choice to be stay in a place for three months um i don't know i just uh, to me da nang was just so relaxing yeah. it was so peaceful uh and then you have the craziness if you want it but it's not in your everyday life and that neighborhood we found in da nang it's kind of like in the middle of the local area and the expat area so we were a five minutes walk from some of our favorite restaurants and we predominantly were eating vietnamese food really reasonable prices buying it from local people so we felt like we were helping the local economy and and uh, but when we wanted to we could go pay two or three bucks for a beer in one of the more fancy expat places and listen to some whatever rock or some out-of-town band or whatever so to me it was the right mix i think so you, you picked, i would pick denon yeah oh i was surprised <laughs> yeah last time i picked natron uh, when we were in vietnam yeah um yeah i would pick Danan also because i feel more uh, easy life Pave over there yeah. than the uh, than the Natron. Yeah, Natron is very good for uh, you know come here for vacation or getaway kind of thing. Yeah, you know? yeah. I totally would live here too. I love both. These two are my favorite cities in the world. I, I think you kind of have to put your feet on the ground and decide for yourself because there's that neighborhood you can live in and there's many neighborhoods here in Natron. They're just amazing. So you have to come look and see for yourself. Yes, and if you're curious how we find our apartment in Vietnam, you check out this video around here yeah. and uh, you will see how we find our apartment in Vietnam. And these aren't the only two cities. Like there, if you like cooler weather, there's a city called Delat. There's, watch the Lot. Watch the YouTube playlist for all the cities we've been to in Vietnam and all over the world to pick your most ideal spot. So. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. As I travel around the world, I write these retired cheap in paradise reports. They include links to where we stayed, restaurants, cheap public markets, expensive grocery stores, transportation information, internet speeds, visa information, weather, and other information. All of this information saves time when you are doing your exploratory visits to identify your own personal paradise destination. We spend hours collecting and preparing this information so you don't have to click the first link in the notes below this video to get an idea of what I'm talking about. Hey, if you liked our video, please like, comment, or subscribe. Any of that would help our business. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. <laughs>